so I did a video where I showed a um, prototype board that was inside of an HP counter. And I said, hey, I recognize that board that used to be in the HP stockroom. And uh, I, I didn't find a complete, a complete version of it uh, like that board was, but uh, here's a remnant of one that I had. Um, so it's an, it's an interesting pattern. I zoomed in on it here. So it's, it's kind of for analog, although it has a place for a dip and embedded in the dip is maybe a place for a couple of little um, transistors. And maybe you can put a circular op amp in that little hole there. Um, you know, round can op amp. I'm, I'm not quite sure. It's got a funny little point here too. So it, originally it had, uh, it was longer than this and it had a card edge connector at the bottom. And then it had, um, a stripe here of ground grounding along the edge, and I think I had on both edges. This has been this has been cut off by me. So th this is an original edge, and this is an original edge, and it had this grounding along the side. So, so yeah, this is this is really interesting. So I'm thinking about maybe maybe reproducing this card just for fun, um, but I never really found this card useful. Uh, I mean, obviously I did something with it, but uh, yeah, I wasn't really too crazy about this card. Um, my favorite prototype card in the stock room, uh, let me show you that one, was, was this. Now this is, this is a big card. This is, uh, look at a tape measure. So this is eight and a half by seven. Uh, so it's quite a large card, um, but it has uh, lots and lots and lots of holes in it. And uh, I, this is my favorite card and I used it all the time. I, 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 I don't think I, no, I think I used them full size a couple times, but uh, usually I would cut a piece of it out there. So I like these cards so much, I did an homage to this card. Um, so over at uh, my share site on PCB Way, you can get this board. This is my digital uh, proto board. And it's based off of, it's based off of this card. It, it is, it is one-to-one -one what, what this card was. I, I, I made it a little bit different, but basically the idea is that there's a two ground, a ground and a power, and uh, that's uh, on the board. And then there's, uh, everything's on one inch, uh, 0.1 inch centers, and there's three. So a dip, if you have a, a dip package here, let me grab grab this off this proto board here. If you put a, uh, a TTL part, a dip part across, it'll reach across those two. And so you can populate this with a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, um, I never found the, the, the edge connectors uh, of any use to me. Um, and so uh, on my board, and I, I made this board also so it's within the small size so you get these cheap. Um, so um, yeah, so this is my favorite card. Um, until until my new ones, these are my favorite now. <laughs> uh, there were other cards in the stock room. There was this card. Um, this one was made also for dip parts. So a dip, uh, so we can get these in here. A, a dip part would go in there, and there is a ground connection and a uh, and a five volt connection. So so those are routed around on the board, and then uh, there's places uh, here. Here, 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 yeah, here, 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 here. Anyway, there are uh, places for bypassing capacitors uh, on the uh, on the rails here. So, um, if you have just a strict TTL type circuit, this is a good board. Um, so, it also has an edge connector, which I never found valuable, but uh, yeah, there it is. Um, all right, this one has some mounting holes on it, uh, which make it more makes it more useful. Uh, this one has an HP part number of 05951-5340. Um, yeah, so I don't know where this card originated from. Uh, there were uh, there was another card, and I don't know if this was uh, Everybody at Hewlett Packard had access to this one, or, or any of these cards actually, where they like uh, the building that I was in was sort of taken over by, or was originally like a time and measurement division, and that got moved over to Santa Rosa. And uh, anyway, some of these cards were probably developed in the old days. 
and uh, kind of just people kept building them because they were doing more prototypes and stuff. Anyway, this is pretty much the same as, as this car, just a bigger version of it. Um, this is an 05951-5320. So what was the number on this one? Uh, yeah, so this is a 5320, this is a 5340. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure who who designed these cards, but these are good for TTL type TTL type projects. Um, there was another board that, that people used all the time, and I just hated them. I, I didn't like them at all, which was uh, this board. And uh, this board is just a bunch of um, 100 mil center holes, plated through holes. Um, but I just find them difficult to wire up. Um, so I never, I never liked these. The other thing I didn't like about this card is it had an edge connector, but no traces to them. So you couldn't really use that edge connector. So I don't know who designed this, what they were thinking of, but I never did like, never did like this board. Uh, but you could buy these today. A bunch of manufacturers that just make a uh, hundred mil center holes. There's this board that might be interesting to duplicate. Um, this is uh, actually the exact same size, okay? So these boards have the exact same outer dimension, and they have this same edge connector size, except this one actually has routing to it, so it makes it useful. This one's not useful. This one's actually useful. Um, so what this one is, it's the same board. So it has 100 mil centers everywhere, okay? You can say, well, why, why they already had this one, why do they need another one? Well, maybe they didn't like it because the edge connector didn't work, but really the trick to this board is the top layer. The top layer is ground, and it's just a solid ground connection, so it adds a ground plane underneath all of your parts, so all of the holes are insulated um, from this ground plane but it adds an RF type shield or something along the way. So um, yeah, that is, an, that is an interesting board. Uh, that one has a different part number. That is a 5021-5314. So yeah, see, strange, huh? Because <laughs> these boards are so close to one. Oh, this one doesn't have a number, so yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Also sort of shows you the uh, age of these boards. Like I mentioned FR4 material, which somebody pointed out correctly that it stands for fire resistant, a uh, fire resistant uh, uh, fiberglass. And um, you can see these boards have a kind of a greenish, kind of a tannish greenish tint uh, FR4 material. And it's quite hard. This material is quite, quite hard. And uh, so these old boards here are all sort of the same. This one, this one also has the has that that, that type of uh, FR4 in it, and um, this one as well, same. But this one is different. This one now has a very very green tinge to it. It's still hard. It feels like it might be a bit softer than this older stuff, but. Uh, yeah, this stuff is a, is a different color, so maybe a different manufacturer, or they decided to change. I don't know. Uh, but none of these have any, um, any uh, solder mask on them, uh, whereas uh, I put solder, solder mask on this one. All right. So, uh, there you go. Like I said, it might be fun to reproduce this board, maybe in a, in a size like this. Uh, where it's just, just that, just to pay, to pay uh, tribute to Hewlett Packard's old days. Make one of these. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, uh, I would not make one of these because you can find them a dime a dozen online. They're not going to be gold, but they're going to find these a dime a dozen online. Uh, this one might be interesting. Let me know if you'd be interested in this one. It has uh, copper everywhere. Uh, and just holes on the bottom, so wouldn't be a big fan, but somebody might like that one. And then these guys are interesting. Maybe a slight spin on these. They're good for, for digital circuits, but I mean, who designs digital circuits these days? I don't still think anybody's doing it. You might as well just use a microcontroller. 
and uh, not have to deal with oh, so many parts and so much wiring and everything. So I don't think I'll reproduce these. I just don't think they're, uh, I don't think they're of any use. And then, like I said, this one's been already been reproduced. So yeah, really is this one here, I guess, would be, should be uh, a definite go. I, I'd probably want to lay this one out just for fun.